Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have studied about structural isomerism and now let's try to solve a simple problem based on the same. So in this video, the question that have been asked to us is to draw or figure out all the possible constitutional isomers of C6H14 or hexane. So we know that structural isomerism is nothing but those compounds in which it has the same molecular formula but that which differs in the way the atoms are linked with each other or there is difference in the connectivity of bonds. Now based on that let's try to figure out all the structures here. So you can see that there are essentially five different structural isomers possible in hexane. The first one is a simple straight chain alkane which is n-hexane. Now if we try to let's try to number this uh, chain you can see the numbering would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now we know that structural isomers differ in their connectivity. So let's try to replace this methyl group and keep it in another position and see what sort of structure you can get. So if I replace this methyl group and keep it at C2 position then I end up getting a structure like this which is nothing but 2 methyl pentane. Now if I change the position of this methyl group from 2nd to 3rd carbon then I end up getting a structure which is 3 methyl pentane. Now if I further change the position of methyl group from 3rd to 4th carbon atom you know that you are not getting any new structure because that particular structure would be exactly same as this which is 2 methyl pentane. So here now we have 3 methyl pentane. Let us now try to further change the position of methyl groups with respect to each other. Let us try to change this particular methyl group and if you try to number it, you get it something like this. And if I change this methyl group to a position like C2, then you end up getting a structure like this which is 2,3-dimethylbutane. Also if I change the position of this particular methyl group to the position 3, then I end up getting a structure like this which is 2,2-dimethylbutane. Now the final structures that we have here is butane and that is 2,3 substituted butanes. Now if you try to change the position of these methyl groups with respect to each other, you can see that you do not get any further uh, structures which are different. So that is for hexane molecule, the maximum number of constitutional isomers that you can get are just 5 as we have shown, shown here. I hope you are very clear on what are structural isomers and how we can derive the various structural isomers of a given hydrocarbon. Thank you.